What's up, guys? It's Carlos with Toy Gigante. Buenos dias, amigos. Good morning, my friends. Thank you for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate it. Thank you for hanging in there. I am doing my best to make more videos. And if you want to see what I'm up to on my Instagram, this is my Instagram, G.I. Joe Fan 312. I'm always doing special projects on there. So yesterday we talked about the last of the V8 Interceptors from the movie Mad Max. This is a great die-cast vehicle that I picked up. And today I'm going to show you what I did using one of these kits from AMT, the Ghostbusters Ecto-1. And what else did I use to make this marvelous vehicle? I used a 1932 five-window coupe model kit as well. Now, as you can tell on this channel, I really like cars. I like all kinds of different cars. I love cars. If I could, I'd have lots of cars because I love them. And I came up with this. Check this out. Yes. Straight from the wasteland. I decided to, to make my Ecto-1 a little different than most. Oops. Sorry about that. So, take a look at this baby. Check out this front end that I came up with. So I, I took the best parts I wanted. These Jeeps, or these are Jeep wheels from a Jeep kit. Not sure which one, but I snagged those up. And let's see. And this little motorcycle is also, uh, I think it's an AMT uh, motorcycle model kit that you can pick up. Let's see here. Looks like this is a 125, 125th scale. I dirtied it, I weathered it. Had a lot of fun making this model kit. So these little wheels roll. So the idea is, what would it be like to have a Cadillac in the desert? In the wasteland. This is not necessarily Mad Max, but it could be. It could be for anything you want. It's just, you know, I just like using my imagination. Coming up with cool stuff. This is a bare bones vehicle. It's ready to hit the dirt. I like the uh, rat rods and the hot rods and all those kinds of vehicles. So on the top, let me see. Let me let me pick up the camera. Sorry for being so lazy here. Let's see what we got here. What did I put on, on top? I got an, a tire. An extra tire just in case. I got a grill. Like a rim. I got a little... Uh, teapot just in case I got a floor oil floor pan cover I got a uh, what are these called the brake brake thingies <laughs> yeah <clears throat> got one of these guys I'm not a mechanic you'll have to excuse me I just I know what these things do I just don't know what they're called sometimes I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm just not an expert you know I just I just make little toys, you know? So yeah, you know, I, I went ahead and I weathered it because I wanted a realistic look. Look at the bottom. I wanted that neon green engine block because I, I like that color and I thought it'd be cool to have like a an engine block where the color stands out and also who knows it could have been part of a different vehicle at one time <clears throat> so I went ahead and did that I like the uh, the red headlights I just think it looks cool probably not street legal since you know red means you're uh, you got taillights and you're backing up and all that 
but I just threw them on there. I think I thought it looked cool. I put a little ding right here, rusted it up. Just wanted to make it look realistic. I like to do that to my vehicle sometimes, weather them up. So what do you guys think? Do you like this uh, this little tribute to the Ecto-1 and Mad Max at the same time? I would love to have a vehicle like this in real life. Oh yes, and I didn't put any windows on it. I wanted the uh, hot air from the desert to breeze right through, yes. Oops, I dropped something. Well, there you go, guys. Another custom vehicle for you. Uh, in 2021, if, all, if things go well, I will do more custom vehicles. I want to do one on camera. It's just um, a lot of work, and I'm trying to figure out the best way to do it. Because, yes, I do want to do some how-tos. I've been talking about them. And, uh, yeah. So, once again, thank you for subscribing and liking the stuff. I will talk to you guys soon.